today we're going to do a little review lesson for a lot of us reviewing rhythms and reading rhythms and identifying rhythms that we see so commonly in our music we don't talk a whole heck of a lot about and so i know for some of us this is super review which is awesome you guys be leaders in class and be helping your peers and if this is new information that's awesome let's learn something together okay we're going to look at musictheory.net. This is an awesome website. We use this a lot. Um, and I'm going to post the link to the lesson we're going to use today. So if you need to go back and review, or if you ever need to go back and review, or want to look ahead at things that are on musictheory.net, it's a great place to go, okay? Being a motivated, independent learner, that's awesome. Today, we're going to look at the note duration lesson. So I'm going to click on this. We're going to run through this, okay? No duration is a lot about math. This says here, the length of time that a note is played, or in our case, that a note is sung, is called the note duration. And it's determined by how the note looks and the type of note. We call that the type of note, okay? A whole rest, so that's the one that's highlighted there on the left, is the longest note duration in modern music, okay? Whole rests. it doesn't have a stem, there's no flag, it's just an open note head, right? We've talked about these terms, stems, note head, beams, flags, right? Those are all the things that have to do with how long a note is, and then moving it up and down the staff is the pitch it is, okay? Half note, okay? If a whole note, is the longest, a half note is gonna take up half the duration of a whole note, okay? We're gonna be talking about quarter note based time signatures. So that means a whole note is gonna get four beats when the quarter note is the beat, and a half note is gonna be half of four beats. So it's gonna last how many beats, everybody say it together, three, two, one. I hope you said two, I really hope you did. Otherwise, how's math class going, okay? Half note's gonna get two beats. Two half notes occupy the same amount of time as one whole note. Great. The quarter note is a quarter of a whole note. So if a whole note gets four beats, a half note gets two, a quarter note is going to get a quarter of a whole note. So it's going to get one beat. It's going to be our beat in a quarter note based time signature. Okay. It's four quarter notes are going to equal one whole note or two quarter notes are going to equal one half note, okay? What you're seeing here is the beginning of what we call a rhythm tree. And it's kind of like, you can think of it like a family tree, right? One whole note, okay? And you can split that down into two half notes, which those can be further split into two quarter notes, right? And you can keep dividing. And some of you guys might know what's gonna come next on that, um, that rhythm tree. Anything smaller than a quarter note has a flag, right? Looks like a kind of fancy yet weird little flag on it, right? A flag has the value of the note beyond a quarter note, okay? So one flag is gonna make it half, two flags is gonna make it half again, right? So we're dealing with um, just having things. We're not doing any other weird kind of ratios, right? We're just talking about halves and wholes, so multiplying by two or dividing by two, okay? An eighth note has one flag, okay? And it's going to be half of a quarter note. So our quarter note is gonna be one beat. So now we're talking about things that are smaller than a beat, okay? In generally, we think of those things going faster. Then two flags is gonna be a 16th note, okay? Two 16th notes is about the same as one eighth note, okay? You can see that on our low rhythm tree, breaking it down. All right, it's possible to have more than two flags. What would three flags be? Follow this pattern. So this is kind of mathy, follow the pattern. One flag is an eighth note. Two flags is a 16th note. Following the pattern, three flags is gonna be a 32nd note. And then four flags is a 64th. And those happen, but they're pretty rare. So this chart displays all of the note durations that we're talking about here, right? But music isn't always about making sound. There's also silence, right? It's a combination of sound and silence and interplay between the two of those. And those also have to be represented in notation. Okay, so we're gonna look at rests as well, right? Same kinds of things. You can see right here, it starts right away by looking at our note values like we had before, whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, 16th note, okay? Those, you just need to get comfortable with memorizing what each of those looks like and what their names are, okay? We have corresponding rests for all of these, okay? 
Example, quarter note and a quarter rest occupy the same amount of time. To demonstrate, here's a measure of 4-4. Four, four. So we're looking at a time signature here. Top number means how many beats in the measure. Bottom number means what type of note gets the beat. So we have a measure of four quarter notes. And that's what we see right here, four quarter notes, okay? Not all music has the same time signature, right? They create different feels. They can create different dances, for example. The three, four creates the waltz, right? So different time signatures help create that mood of our piece and our, our composers use those strategically. When played, all four notes sound. I have no idea if it just played four quarter notes for you, but at least you hopefully saw those be illuminated, right? We're gonna replace that second quarter note with a rest. So if we were to clap this rhythm, the first time would have been four straight claps, but this time, if we're feeling that pulse, I'm gonna tap my foot, we would clap. Right? Some people like to say shh, some people like to say rest. You can think it in your head, right? But that rest also takes up a beat. There are other types of rests. A whole note rest is the same amount of time as a whole note, and it looks like a little box that comes down from the fourth line. Remember, we count our lines from the bottom. One, two, three, four. So that fourth line, like rungs on a ladder, okay? The lowest rung would be the first rung on the ladder, and then we'd say they'd get higher. Same thing with the musical staff, okay? Whole notes and half notes look very, very similar, and that can be confusing, so make sure you pay attention. Half rests are on top of the third line, okay? The most important thing between the half notes, or the half rests and the whole rests, is whether it's above the line or below the line. Some people like to say, and I think this is great, the whole rest looks like a little hole in the ground. If you imagine that fourth line is the ground, that we've got a little hole right there, or that the half rest looks like a little top hat, right, sitting on top of the line. If that's helpful for you, heck yeah. Like notes, rests can have flags too. The flags uh, don't look as much like flags. They're just like this almost little comma that got attached to a line, okay? But one flag, you can see, is an eighth rest, and two flags, you can see the two little commas on there. That's a sixteenth rest. Again, rare, but we can have rests that would have multiple flags beyond two. And here's a rest rhythm tree, okay? So with this knowledge, if you are still not remembering some of these things, you guys are going to get to work together in small groups, okay, in pairs or partners. I'm going to post the link to this. If you guys are having trouble remembering what these are, go click on either note duration or rest duration. That's going to give you that little rundown of what we can do or what we've talked about. And if you go up to the settings and you click images, it's going to give you, instead of kind of advancing through that, it's just going to be one big website web page that you can scroll through. Okay. So with that, you guys are going to go to flat. You have an assignment here. It's called naming note and restorations basic. Okay. So there are three types of questions in here. It should look like this, and it's going to give you what's the name of the displayed duration. So using what we just learned, and hopefully what we already know, this is a quarter note rest. So make sure you don't click quarter note, but that's a quarter note rest, okay? I'm going to click next, okay? Displayed duration. This is a half note, not a rest, but a half note. Okay, so you guys are going to go through those. That's the first type of question. Your second type of question, I'm going to try and show you guys this real quick by scrolling through this. The second type of question is, pick the symbol for the note. So it's going to tell you, look for the quarter note, and you're going to go and click on the right box. Okay, same thing. Pick the symbol for the whole note. You're going to click on this. So this is just kind of basic identification. And then the third type of question is, how many beats does the note last? Okay, we've talked about quarter note base time signatures. So that's the bottom number. Four means that our quarter note is always the beat. And so if a quarter note gets one beat, the half note is twice the length and it's going to be two beats. Okay. Same thing. How many beats does this note last? It's a quarter note. So it's just going to be one beat. Okay. Those of you who are super confident with this, be helpers. Those of you who, if you have questions, find a buddy who you know has got this down. Don't be afraid to ask. We were all there at some point figuring this out for the first time. And this is really, really great information for us to have as we are moving forward with our music literacy. Okay? You guys are awesome. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Get this assignment done. And we'll talk soon.